could build Chrysler and Plymouth cars the way others do. But we think car buyers deserve a choice. So we build our cars to be different. We think car buyers want our kind of benefits. Benefits from advanced electronics, for example. Things like this little light-emitting diode. Works like a light bulb and will operate for many years. We designed a system around it. This new electronic gauge alert system, a 74 option. If the gauge indicates a problem, the diode lights to alert the driver. Another attention getter. Electronic security alarm option helps protect car, contents, and occupants with electronic reliability. We're calibrating a lot of these electronic digital clocks for 74 because the word has spread far and wide about their easy readout and accuracy proved within a minute a month. Here's something you will not find under the hood of any Chrysler Corporation car built in North America, whatever the model, whatever the engine. This is a set of points, specifically the electromechanical breaker points used in conventional breaker point ignition systems. Here's why we got away from them. Metal to metal contact wears them out, or they burn away from electrical arcing. Also, the rubbing block wears down, changing the gap in timing. Then the owner needs to buy new points and get an expensive ignition tune-up. But car buyers today have a choice. Our electronic ignition doesn't require point and condenser tune-ups. This reluctor is the only moving part in an electronic system that replaces the breaker point assembly. No metal-to-metal -metal contact. No friction. No sparks. The reluctor doesn't touch anything as it spins, sending out electromagnetic timing signals to a solid-state electronic control unit. Spark plugs prefer electronic ignition. It helps them live up to about 18,000 miles. Electronics, in fact, play a big part all through our engine design, building, and testing. Because we think people want an engine that runs reliably. This device beams an ultrasonic wave through crankshaft castings. To its electronic ears, the beam and echo sound something like this. Perfect echo. Casting's okay. Sour echo. A flaw. This casting's a reject. After assembly, the engine couples itself to this test stand, starts up automatically, and gets an electronic analysis of exhaust gas pressure. It must pass this test. The computer panel tells a technician whether the engine has a strong, steady pulse or a flutter. On-the-spot adjustments usually set things right and the engine goes on for more tests, including an air pressure crankcase test that detects faulty gaskets, seals, or metal cracks. A similar test of the cooling passages to make sure they are leak-proof. And eventually, a thorough final inspection. We think people want assurance against expensive bills for automatic transmission maintenance, overhaul, and repair. So we build Torque Flight, the tough transmission that needs no maintenance under normal driving conditions. We think people want handling and road feel. So we use torsion bars that twist instead of move up and down like coil springs. You have to experience it to appreciate it. We think people want solid protection, so we fuse all body panels and structural members behind the firewall into a solid unibody with more than 4,000 welds. This dissected competitive 1973 car shows how Ford and GM body-on-frame construction differs from our unibody method. This body and frame are fastened together with a few bolts. These bolts. And now that we've removed them, you can see what we mean by separate body and frame. Those orange rings show where the bolts go. Compare the spaces between them with the spacing of these orange painted unibody welds. Nobody has to settle for body on frame construction. Our unibody gives a choice. In working towards a service free car, in providing a transmission that lasts, in designing a torsion bar suspension, in electronic ignition, in electronic testing, in providing tomorrow's electronics now, Chrysler Corporation gives you a choice. That's extra care in engineering. It makes a difference.